How's everybody? Happy Sunday morning. Mm. Quick video before things start here. Sets, reps, exercise selection. People ask me all the time, Mike, what should I do? And that's a good question. So let's start from the top. The first thing is how much time do you have, right? So you must train every muscle twice a week, which means if you only have, let's say, two hours, that comes to two full body workouts a week. If you have more time, you can obviously, you know, split out differently as to push, pull legs, upper, lower body, and so on and so forth, okay? Exercise selection is where people get lost and it's get, get, do wrong things, meaning, you got to understand what the muscle does. I'm sorry, you just have to learn. So in other words, like, what's the insertion? What's the origin, like, you know, for the bicep or whatever? And then think about what gives me the greatest results. And then that's tension, right? So a long time ago, I tried to be a bench presser. That was a really dumb idea because I have really long arms and most bench pressers are like a T-Rex. So that just doesn't work. You're putting the square into the round. So exercise selection is like, oh, first of all, what does my gym have? That's a big question. And then secondly, the question is, what do I feel the muscle shortening? And if I don't feel it shortening, then it's not for me, okay? So that requires some basic research, but it can be done. And when you have that covered, you look into the strength curve, stretch, as well as mid-range, as well as contraction. So let's say for the lats, right, would be pullovers, some pull down, and then stiff arms to contract and so on and so forth. That's more of a luxury that would require you at least to train four times a week to cover that, but I do highly recommend it, okay? So when that's said and done, now comes the question of sets. So sets is, I would say 20 for the big muscle groups per week. Let's say you're training your back twice a week, that would be 10 and 10, could be 10 vertical pulls versus 10 horizontal, you know, something like that, you get the idea. As for reps, most of us are at home between 8 and 12 because that gives us the 30, 40 seconds under tension, okay? So that is the basic blueprint. Of course, if you have the luxury like yours truly to train in the gym that has all kind of awesome toys, then you better, hey man, what's up guys? Morning, morning. Um, now, but here's the thing though. The thing that really matters and makes or break you is what you do with the information. So, if you come to the gym and you're simply throwing stuff around and execution is crap, then none of this will make a difference. So execution and activation, we talked about this a million times, that's really what dictates your success, okay? So you can have the greatest plan if, let's say, you're starting your lat down with your biceps, then it's still shit, okay? So you need to understand what you're doing and to do it properly. So and I said this a hundred times, but I will say it again. Do not get focused so much on the externals, focus on the internals, right? Do I shorten the muscle? Do I act the proper muscle? Do I lead with the proper muscle? Is the proper muscle on top, okay? So to sum it up, train the whole body twice. That's one thing. Then work within the strength curve. That's also, but learn your anatomy first. As for sets, 20, smaller muscle groups, 12, depends on conditioning, reps, 8 to 12. The big factor in terms of success is what you do with those sets and reps. Because the majority of people doesn't even look like they go to the gym because all they do is heave ho and throw stuff around. So, sick. watch the short videos, how to activate stuff, and then go in, okay? Um, be safe in those difficult times. Remember, this is a tunnel. It's a long tunnel, a long, lot longer than anyone would have liked, but it does end, okay, guys? So just don't be stupid and uh, get huge, my God.